What's good everybody, it's Kush Beaver here, back with another Mobile Royale video. Today we're going to be going over the Prestige Wars that happened just a couple days ago. Now if you're not familiar with Prestige Wars, that's when all of the big players from around the various kingdoms that there are get together and do battle over a separate set of forts and capital. Now I talked a little bit in my last Fort Wars video about the glitch that was allowing everybody to put 6 million troops in the capital and 6 million troops in the forts. Now I found out that that issue wasn't exclusive to Fort Wars alone, it was something that took place in the last Prestige Wars which wasn't too long ago. So now that they've got that issue fixed, we get to see it done over, we get to see it done right, and everybody gets a fair shot at getting that War Master title in this one here. Now I did pour it in on this Prestige Wars because I wanted to see how my city stacked up against some of the best players in the game. I put a lot of time and effort into my research and my gear lately so I was hoping for some attacks. Unfortunately I wasn't able to get those but being so close to the action I was able to get a lot of that recorded and bring you guys these clips. I also want to shout out TW Mayday from the Taiwanese Guild for getting me some of the battle reports that you'll get to see at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned for those. Now I do want to apologize, in retrospect I didn't do as good a job recording this particular Prestige Wars as I usually do. I missed a lot of the action, including the last 30 minutes, and quite frankly I'm still not even sure how that happened. But regardless of that, it was still an enjoyable event. As I've said in past videos, this is probably one of my favorite events, and this time around definitely didn't disappoint. Most importantly though, I was still able to get some good takeovers here for you guys to see in this video, so for me it was still a win-win. Now there were a lot of participants in this Prestige Wars. This time around you had a lot of people coming in just to get a few points here and there. You had your regulars like 7-Eleven and SGK. But um, I want to specifically single out SGK Tab and of course Yuri from 7-Eleven. Those two guys are some of the best players in this game. For them it goes beyond gear and research. They're strategizing when it comes down to formations and timing is just impeccable. It's really hard to beat those two when it comes down to this event and they did a great job here as well. One thing I do need to applaud Yuri and 7-Eleven for is that they don't come in here squad deep with allies. While you got SGK working with some of their family guilds on these events, 7-Eleven comes in and it's just them and only them. They gotta basically get through it by themselves, they call in a few people here and there for resources, but aside from that, they don't double rally, they don't triple rally, it's just them. I do still want to shout out SGK and their allies though because getting the timing down on those double rallies and getting everybody on the same page isn't easy, but they make it look easy. So shout outs to you guys for that. Now every Prestige Wars, there ends up being one or two players that run into some bad luck and just straight up get wrecked. For whatever reason, attention gets drawn towards them and usually it just doesn't end well. This time around, that player was Clown Joker from one of the SGK family guilds. Now he was in Kingdom Chat trying to draw on some solo attacks and I gotta admit, it was going well for him for a while. He was racking up the kills, he was winning them, and then next thing you know, one of those solo attacks turned out to be a rally from former Prestige Wars winner Sakura's P from 7-Eleven. Now what made this different was the fact that Clown Joker lost 5 million troops and over 98 million might in what was probably one of the biggest losses I've personally seen since I started playing this game. You guys will get to see the report for that at the end of the video but it was just insane to see. 5 million troops. Shout outs to him, I hope he's able to bounce back from that. Nobody ever wants to see it happen, but good luck on the rebuild, bro. Hopefully you can come back stronger than before. So now, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the battle reports. Um, those will be popping up here in a second. I do want to apologize for not being able to get as many as I usually do. 
um, a lot of people deleted them or I just wasn't able to get to them in time but regardless of that I got a few of the good ones I did get that uh, battle report I was talking about earlier with the 5 million troop loss so you'll get to see that here in a second Now if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. You don't want to miss out on any future uploads. I do have more Mobile Royale content coming soon, so stay tuned.